All right, everybody, Taekwon Crypto back to talk about a brand new decentralized exchange or DEX called HoneySwap. Now, what's exciting about this is HoneySwap is built on the XDAI network. Now, I haven't done a video on XDAI yet, but that's coming. But for now, the big story here is in the decentralized exchange model, particularly with Uniswap being the market leader in decentralized exchanges, they all primarily run on Ethereum. And anybody who's traded on the network understands at some point they're spending a lot of money on fees and sometimes waiting minutes or hours for a transaction to complete. So what kind of fee savings are we talking about? Well, XDAI has a fixed transaction fee at 0.00021 of a dollar. You are reading that correctly, about 21 thousandths of one penny per transaction. I've been in trades and paid tens, twenties, sometimes $30 in gas. It just feels like you're wasting money, right? And that's what XDAI is solving. But because it's new, new-ish, it takes a little bit of work. It's not quite as native as you're used to working on the Ethereum network. And that's the thing you really got to realize here. There's the Ethereum mainnet, and then there's a whole separate side chain for the XDAI network. And they are not related both different. Now, there is a bridge that connects the two. That's obviously super important in the broad scale of crypto economy. But if you want to use HoneySwap today, you got to do a little bit of steps and we'll get to that. But before we get to that, if you would please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Okay, so circling back real quick, big picture, the problem people are making trades and it costs a lot in fees. The result is Eventually, other exchanges are going to show up that solve that problem, and this is one of them. And so an obvious question here is, how do you use it? Well, first, let me compare what it would look like to buy stake XDAI's token with Uniswap. So on Uniswap, if I wanted to buy, say, $100 worth of stake, you can see I'm buying it at $24. When I hit the swap button, I confirm that swap. It's waiting for the transaction. MetaMask can op open up, and you can see it's going to cost me $7 in gas to make this transaction. Now, I can safely reject this and not make the purchase. But keep that in mind. To buy four die, spend about 100 bucks, I need to pay seven bucks. It's, it's basically a 7% fee, which is like twice or three times what you'd get just using a normal credit card. So the obvious question is, how does that compare to HoneySwap? Okay, in order to use HoneySwap, first you have to have X die. Now, to get XDAI, you need to first have DAI on the Ethereum mainnet. The way I got this was I bought it through Coinbase, uh, and then I transferred it over to my MetaMask wallet. I had to pay some fees for that. The result was I, I kind of ended up with 94 DAI. So that's a little bit of a bummer. There may be a better way to get it. Either way, at this point, I have DAI in my MetaMask wallet, and I can now transfer that DAI cross-chain one-to-one from the ETH mainnet to the XDAI chain. The bridge opens up. It's going to ask me to pay fees. Now, this case, I got to pay a dollar in gas fees. So, the first, there's a little bit of a fee here in order to, to convert my DAI over to XDAI. So, the total I'm going to spend here is going to be all of my DAI plus the dollar three in uh, gas. You see, eventually, you get the nice little uh, confirmation deals popped up. The screen hasn't updated itself. But what I can do is continue over to the HoneySwap site, HoneySwap.org, takes you to the swap site. And now, when you connect to your wallet, it's going to tell you, hey, you have the wrong network. Now, I found a how to buy Honey Token article that tells you exactly what you need to do to switch to the XDAI network, and, and I'll link to that in the description below. And I've already gone through these steps, but basically what I can do here is take my MetaMask wallet and then switch over to the XDAI network. So now heading over to HoneySwap.org, you can see that here is our XDAI. If we max it out 
and we decide to buy a stake here, you can see the price of stake has gone up, which is a bit of a bummer. Now if I hit swap, watch this, you know, price impact here, liquidity provider free, confirm the swap. Now check this out. I want to exchange $94 of XDAI over to however much stake I can get for that. And the gas fee is 0 0.000183. And this is the gas fee. Go ahead and buy that. And look how fast that was, literally in seconds. So how have people responded to this product launch? Well, going over to info dot honeyswap.org and looking at just the honey steak pair you can see that the liquidity for just this one trading pair alone has already gone up to three hundred thousand dollars since they launched here a couple days ago in fact here's a high level view that since they launched already here just a few days ago 1.3 million dollars has already come in and i know what you're thinking is that being pulled from Uniswap? Well, to be honest, it's really hard to tell because Uniswap has $2.1 billion in liquidity. So a $1 million drop probably isn't gonna show up yet, but it's something to watch. And again, I will link to all of these in the description, but the point of this story is that HoneySwap is here. It's probably here to stay. It takes a little work to move from mainnet to the XDI network, but there's documentation for all that. It's gonna get easier and money is definitely coming in to HoneySwap. So it'll be interesting to see if it really does take an impact on Uniswap, but I think it'll have to. The question is gonna be what kind of liquidity and which pairs are gonna show up in HoneySwap. But just ask yourself, if you could make a trade right now for two thousandths of a penny instead of $7, aren't you going to? Anyway, that's it. HoneySwap, new project, pretty cool. Check it out, do your own research. And if you have a project you want me to check out, comment below. In the meantime, please don't forget to like, subscribe to the video. It really helps out the channel. Until next time.